after the Halif uh, FC Halifax match, it was a one-all draw. I'm joined by Matthew Bleemer and Paul Bond. So, guys, what are your initial reactions to the match? To be honest, disappointed not to win it. Um, thought we were the better team, and uh, as a defence, was unhappy with the goal that we conceded. Um, I don't think it'd have been um, a misjustice if we'd have won that game. Yeah, likewise. Um, I thought first half we were excellent tonight. Not only did we uh, work hard and press Halifax, but we also played some good football as well. And uh, I thought, we, I thought in particular the first half we did really well. Obviously, we lost um, Adam Boulder to injury, and Lee Elam came on. But again, second half we all dug in and we um, worked extremely hard tonight. Disappointed with the goal, we could maybe have prevented that, but I think there's lots of positives tonight. A lot of lads making the debut and um, you know different players playing, so there's lots of positives to build on. How do you think the new players did? I thought they were great, yeah. Um, young Adam who played on the right um, put in a great shift and also showed the had a little bit. He was, he was a threat for us as well, especially first half. Um, and it's good, it's good when you get some fresh blood in. Um, like Bo said, we have, a, we have a few guys missing today. So uh, for these lads to come in and take the chance like that, it gives the gaffer a little bit of a problem, which, which is what we want. Now obviously you two guys scored in the first match against FC Halifax. How disappointed were you not to obviously notch up another few today? <laughs> We got, I, think, I think that was the one, one, one of the season for both of us, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't know what odds we even got on uh, Bloomer and Bolling scoring in, in the same match. But no, it was, obviously it was nice to get on the score sheet away at Halifax, but it's um, unfortunately we couldn't add to our tally tonight. But no. it, was, uh, it was about doing the job for a team and you know, there's lots of, lots of pluses tonight, I think. And it um, gives the gaffer lots of hope for, for, for next season and, uh, and moving forward. Regarding the goals, obviously, that uh, Halifax scored tonight, what actually happened? <sighs> to, to be honest, I think we looked to have lost the ball um, on our left side, and, and they played a good ball in, a good ball in, it just peeled off the back of us. Um, I was right with it, I was kind of right behind it, and I think it's actually hit their centre forward and just bobbled us straight out to the man on the edge of the box on the run, and then he's hit it, it's hit me, then it's hit the keeper and, and gone in. So it was scrappy, and we're not happy with it, but you know. The defence has been fantastic this season, the gaffer said it after the game. Um, it's something we'll learn from, build on it and uh, hopefully make it better for next season. What are the aims now for Harrogate Tunnels in the last few remaining games of the season? I think it's nine points. Let's, let's go win the last three games. See um, what happens. Let's, let's finish as high as possible. If that's um, sixth, then, then fantastic. But let's, let's go out on a high, finish the season strongly. You know, we're, all, we're all playing for... For, for, for contracts next year, yeah. so you know we, we need to show the, uh, the gaffer and, and Macca that we want to be here and we want to be a part of things and um, and that, that's the aim, you know the young lads have come in and staked to claim tonight and that's what we've got to do, finish the season strongly so we can take momentum into, into next season and, and look to kick on again and be even stronger next year. And obviously with the games we've had recently against Solihull Moors, Gloucester City, how Disappointing has it been, obviously, with the results we got, even though we beat Gloucester City, you know, with the Solihull Moors as matches as well. How upsetting, in, in some respects, has that been for the team that we sort of played well, but lost, and then played possibly not so well and lost, you know, a, yeah. a lot more. Well, the Solihull game, especially, you know, as we know, goals can change games, and for the first 20 minutes, I think everyone will agree was well on top. Um, we just couldn't put the ball away that day, and everything they hit went in, and it came as a bit of a shock, especially the position we're in and the time of the season where we're pushing for the playoffs. So that was a shock and the lads were disappointed um, and then obviously we go back away to Solihull and put in a, put in a poor performance really by our standards um, but we've got, to, we've got to learn from that you know, um, we've got ourselves in a great position, it's a learning curve like Bolly said we've got some young lads in the squad now as well so they'll learn from it, the older lads like ourselves we can still learn from that, that you've got to close games out and if for any reason you're not scoring goals you've just got to defend well. Now to finish, uh, Paul we all know that Matthew I used to say about Corwin Bay's goal. What's he Colin been saying? Corwin Bay. Colin Bay. <laughs> I mean, he's got against Corwin Bay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's he been saying about the FC Halifax one? How's he described that one? I've not really mentioned that one. Yeah, he's been for, I think he's saving FC Halifax for next season. Didn't uh, they play each other the other week, Corwin Bay? Like <laughs> Positive. <laughs> but yeah, no, with uh, Blooms reminds all the lads about his goal at Corwin Bay back in, I think, was it 87? Something like that. Oh, the 90s, <laughs> maybe that. It's been black and white, But maybe. yeah, um, so we're, maybe I need to start. Getting involved with that as well. You didn't even see it. Remember that goal at Halifax? That chip at Halifax? We didn't see him out against Colin Bay. No, I wasn't here then, unfortunately. Oh, mate, brilliant. So, are we having a goal this season this year? Are you? I
Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's, it's, all, it's all, good, all good fun. We have, a, we have a bit of banter in the dressing room. That's one of the things, you know, the gaffer said it with the group of lads we've got now, it's one of the best feelings in a dressing room. I mean, probably that I've known in my career. It was great at Lincoln for us um, when we the playoff years, but, you know, that easily compares with it, if not better. So if we can keep the nucleus of that squad together, add, a, add some more quality for, for next season, and, and who knows. Superb. Thank you very much, gentlemen. No problem, mate. Cheers, thanks. <laughs>